I needed a vehicle with which to get to work. This bike inhabits a legal no man's land between motorcycle and bicycle. It has pedals, right? So functionally and legally it's a bicycle. That means that I can legally ride in the breakdown lane and I don't need a motorcycle endorsement to any driver's license. No license, no registration, no nothing. Just my style. I do wear a helmet though. I call it my Tron helmet with the flashing lights and the flip down smoke visor. The bike is an engineering marvel and the fit and finish are impeccable. The welds are flawless. Whoever welded this frame was a true expert. Any accent pieces on the bike are metal, not plastic. And the messenger bag is an aesthetic masterpiece, the cherry on top of a fine piece of work. The motor is powerful and the battery is large. The acceleration is quick, without being inappropriately aggressive. The acceleration curve, dictated by the controller, is set to maximize fuel efficiency and to be a safe ride for those less experienced, while still being satisfyingly fast for the more expert rider. In short, the acceleration rate is the perfect balance between quickness and fuel efficiency and safety. The bike will be comfortable to ride for those 5'8 to 6'2. The kickstand seems to be slightly long, meaning that the proper parking geometry is impossible to achieve. If you were to park this on a level surface, even the slightest wind would blow it over. A wind that would never blow over a high schooler's properly parked Schwinn. I just paid 1700 bucks for this thing. I'd like it to lean over a bit to the left when I park it. This is a capable bike that is also way cool and also affordable. And, you know, in the upcoming Great American Zombie Wars, I will have the ability to manufacture my own electricity. I will not have the ability to manufacture my own gasoline. 